also water utilities. And today we can see that uh, some utilities in, uh, in Africa are really uh, taking advantage of that, of that situation. You have utilities that are performing well. Uh, the util African utilities that are reference at the World Bank and uh, doing some roadshow everywhere. So to see how uh, public or private utility can definitely work well. And all this is work from, from, from the African Water Association through the capacity building program that we've uh, been implementing since, since 1980. Since 1980, all right. So um, why bring the Africa Water uh, Congress to Kenya this time around? Uh, it is um, a bidding processing process. Mm -hmm. uh, every two years, AFWA launch a bid for hosting the, the Congress. Mm -hmm. AFWA does the Congress every two years. We are today at our 18th edition. Mm -hmm. And in two year time, we'll be at our 19th edition. And we all have already launched the 19th edition uh, uh, call for hosting the, the, the Congress. Mm -hmm. But uh, for Kenya, it was quite tough because we had three uh, countries that were interested in hosting the AFWA Congress. We had right. Mali on one side, we had South Africa on the other side, mm -hmm. and Kenya on the other side. Mm -hmm. And Kenya won because they had a lot of uh, potential. Ah, so do you think conference tourism is also part of the reason you chose Kenya? I think that it is part because working for four days is good, but if on the fifth day you can go and do some safari or you know a bit of tourism, it's also good. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, the theme for this year that is sustainable access to water and sanitation in Africa. Um, the co this Congress started on Monday and we're into the third day today. What uh, sort of conversations are you having and what do you hope to have achieved? What have you achieved so far? What do mm -hmm. you hope to have achieved at the end of it all? Okay, so this year we have chosen the theme as um, sustainable access to water and sanitation in Africa because we are in the mood of the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. And we think that uh, bringing access to water is something, but you have to make it sustainable so that we don't, we're not coming back mm -hmm. uh, where we started. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had a lot of sessions organized during these two or three days. Uh, I, say, I would say more than uh, 70 sessions around, uh, around this, this Congress. And the, the idea is to exchange between practitioner on various aspects of the water sector. We can be talking about uh, non-revenue water, we can be talking about uh, maintenance of equipment, we, we're talking about financing the, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And all these uh, uh, thematics have been talked a lot during all these sessions, and uh, we hope that we, are, we, we will come up with some very interesting uh, uh, proposition, very interesting outcomes of these, uh, these sessions. So how are the sessions going at the moment? Is there any headway that is being made regarding the challenge of access to water around Africa? Listen, the challenges are so many. Mm -hmm. uh, challenges of access of water and sanitation in Africa can be described as uh, financing challenges, mm -hmm. uh, technical challenges. Mm -hmm. We are looking also at uh, uh, management challenges. And on all these topics are, are things that AFWA is, is really working our hard on, uh, uh, developing some capacity building programs and, and having these uh, utilities getting together and, and having their own solution, meaning that uh, we, couldn't, we cannot take a solution coming from the west or the east of, of the world. We have to have mm -hmm. our own solution to definitely get to our own problems. All right, so my final question to you would be, um, do you think African governments in, total, in totality are giving enough uh, to the water industry, in this case, regarding budgetary allocations to ensure that at least they meet uh, the target of universal water access by the year 2030? Um, I don't think that the, the governments in our authorities mm -hmm. uh, put enough budget in the water and sanitation sector. Water is life. We used to say water is life. Water is even more than life. Water is what we need to, 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 to exist. And, and we, look, we would like at the African Water Association that the government would like the government to, for two or three or four years, put the maximum budget in the water sector to put it at the right level mm -hmm. and then try to sustain it at that level. But we will, we will spend less money sustaining it at that level, at the highest level, than bringing it up. So we need really some political will to bring the sector at the right level for, 
a better access to the African population. Well, thank you so much. You uh, are so Asha welcome. Sobeng. Such an honor speaking thank to you. Thank you very much. And uh, that is the executive director for the Africa Water Association talking to us about uh, what is happening here at the Kenyatta International Convention Center where the Africa Water Congress is happening and the theme is sustainable access to water and sanitation in Africa and he says water is not just life, water is what we need to exist on planet Earth.